Welcome to Combat Challenge. We're here at Cedar Court in Bradford. We've got ourselves an amateur MMA about here, Rich, do we not? We do. Penultimate one of the night, Al. We've got uh, Gregor Bukowski in the grey shorts taking on Callum in the black. Ooh, Callum's that one early with some big hands and uh, might have tripped there rather than caught, gone straight for the straight for the very tight gillies and trying to mount there as well. Would have been, uh, would have been a short night if he could have paddled up that full roll. Yeah. Callum successfully uh, advancing position nicely into half guard. Very quick start from both these guys. I, I kind of missed that. Was, that. was that a trip or was it? It was a trip. Committed? Yeah, it was a trip. Yeah. So it brings us to where we are. Luckily, uh, luckily slowed down a sec, so I'm just kind of catch my breath there. Callum back to his feet now, in a position potentially to get suplexed though by uh, by Gregor. Ooh. And goes instead for the sit down. Very nice. But if he gets turned here, Callum be into the guard of uh, oh. of Gregor. Just trying, just to trying so hard, in. toes are actually in the fence. I'd be uh, slapping them feet out and uh, heads up on top, go. which is good. For Callum, yeah, Callum's in Gregor's guard right now. Let's see what uh, Gregor's nice. Back. Looks like he's an active high guard there. It's Gregor yes. it's going for the triangle or trying to set up that by the looks of things. So nice and close, trying to get the overhook there. I do think he's potentially looking for either the triangle or the armbar on this one. Quite high on that. Yeah, definitely looking for the triangle. Nice to see a high active guard there early from Gregor. Yeah. I, think I don't think he's actually closed his guard yet at all. I think he's constantly looking, throwing up submissions and moving, which is, uh, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see an active open guard. Yeah, definitely. It's a missed opportunity otherwise, isn't it, really? Yeah, absolutely. Can't be too uh, too nervous in these sort of exchanges to throw up an arm bar. Calm looking very composed, keeping pressure on, looking to pass. Steps over. That's very well there. Be careful that he doesn't re-guard at this point. Now he's getting that foot in nicely now to stop that half guard getting the foot out and regain a... Trying to advance the side control while uh, Gregor tries to regain guard. Gregor's done a pretty good job of getting his hips out. Yeah, he's on that. I don't know if he's going deep under for him. Didn't find a deep half guard there. He's, he's really committed to that leg. He's got both feet on there, making it very hard for uh, Callum to pass. And I'm working that instep there, trying to pull his right leg out. But, uh, He's great vine pretty strongly there by Gregor on the bottom by the looks of things. He still looks like he's controlled at the top. I can't quite see the angle on whether or not he's trying to get right underneath and play deep half, but I think he's not. I think he's just getting flattened out. The foot is almost free now for, for Callum. Just the foot now. If he can get that knee through, he can uh, hopefully get that pass to side control and get a bit of what's going on. Gregor making it very difficult for him to advance his position here. Yeah. Callum's doing a great job of controlling. Looking like he's going to try and, and reverse position. Oh, very nice reversal there for Gregor. He's actually taken full mount up against the cage with just yes. 10 seconds to go. And uh, Cal controlling the head but eating a few nice. shots in these last 10 seconds. A couple of very nice shots here from Gregor. Ooh, saved by the proverbial bell perhaps there. Can't be thinking about that, that mm -hmm. in between yeah, rounds yeah. if it gets to it. That can't be happening again, do you know what I mean? Who does it benefit is the question. Yeah, suppose, exactly. It? Benefit the most. <laughs> Flip with that right hand there. Nice body kick though from Callum. Oh, man. Gregor really hit him with that right. Yeah. Like really planted it. And again, he's got a good little jaw on him as Callum. He does, he's got a beard. Nice knee there from Gregor. Oh, another one. Heavy pressure then against the cage. A furious little exchange there Definitely. at the start, wasn't it? Talk about leaving it all in the cage. These guys live and breathe it. Oh, look for a hip toss. Blocked. Ooh. Greg looking to take that. Doesn't quite manage to take the back though. Callum okay. has to be very, very careful here because he's looking to get that left hook across. If he can shift his hip out a little bit further, he can take this back. Yeah, there we go. 
worked that hip and now he's got one hook in, needs to get the second one, that left leg hook in. He's working the neck there. We're either looking at mount here or uh, taking the back if Callum's not careful. Yep. Callum looking to get shake him off and get him off the hip. Gregor just trying to pass that foot into the hip. Trying to hip out now and change position. There but really nice work there wow. from Callum. Really nice work. And do you know what I like about all these scrambles? Is until they resolve, you just don't know who's going to end up on top. They're no, so absolutely. evenly matched. It's it could, you could flip a coin. Yeah, a second there, we're thinking, is he going to take the back? And exactly, <laughs> like ends up in half guard. It's a uh, yeah. yeah, good little, good little scramble, good little tussle there. And this is why the ground game in MMA is so fascinating because it is a chess match. Yeah, especially even in those those quick transitions as well. You know, like the slightest one, error. one mistake takes you from having a guy's back and uh, potentially working for you know, working for the chokes and the uh, the armbars from the back to. Uh, Having a guy putting his weight on top of you in a you know a lockdown side control for an extended period of time. We saw how effective Gregor was when he had the top position. Yeah, he didn't to, waste a single moment getting on. We, the, had, uh, we had ten seconds in the last round and he was really kicking on. And uh, Callum's done really well to mitigate the damage of that. You see where there's some uh, damage on the body there of Gregor as well yeah. from, uh, from Callum's kicks early on. Gregor has managed to advance position there. Kind of working for that other hook. Oh, very nice work. Side control now into mount. Oh, he actually has an arm trapped as well, so have to be very careful here. He can ride out this book. Callum's working so hard once again to twist Flatten himself him out into there a nicely. more advantageous position. But, uh, he's he's got to make sure that door. Gregor doesn't strike too early, you know. He's got both hooks in now. He can just he needs to probably get a seatbelt under there and just control him a little bit higher up on his neck and his shoulders. He's got time to work, you know. We've got, got a little bit of time left in this round. You know, hooks are in tight there, like I said, he needs to really control the body as well so the palms can just walk his way out. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs to do. And I'll be looking at posturing up now and uh, putting a couple of shots in. Calm doing a good job of controlling his arms, but once again, with 10 seconds in the round, I was Greg, I'd be pulling my arms free and uh, really looking at T on again. Amazing. But Callum doing everything he can, just staying down there for the round. And... <laughs> nice little smile there from Callum to his corner. Well, we had body kicks from, uh, from Callum. But good punches from Gregor, so yep. we're going to have to see what this third round, uh, this third round offers. Oh, a spinning head kick! Spinning wheel kick there. Nice. Got a bit, uh, Gregor walking his man down. Go, his own wheel kick, very nice. Back. Catching the gloves. Gregor has gone for that same takedown three times, yep. and every single time he's ended up on his back. And what's interesting now is that Callum seemed to initiate that clinch as well. Yeah. He's every single time done the exact same takedown and yeah. tried to take the back, ended up getting reversed and kept in like side in a half guard or side control. Mm -hmm. You know, at some point you're gonna just have to adapt to the fight, and I, I just don't feel that Gregor's doing that right now. He's still now trying to get onto the back, working to get the back, and, and Callum not giving him an awful lot of uh, a lot of room to do so. Yeah. He, technically, he's on the back now, which is good if he needs to get that hook in. But you know, he'd be better off probably looking to advance position, flatten his man out, and take side control. Were it me, rather than kind of working for his back, straight to mount there. Callum will try and reverse. Okay, not again, not a great spot here for Callum on the bottom. No, but finally that takedown and advance, advance working for Gregor. He's got a really good buck and roll, doesn't he, as uh, Callum? He's done that, what, three times now? I think so, yeah. It's just, like you say, it's a shame he's had to. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Throws the shot and uh, avoided there by uh, by Gregor as he looks to take the back again. Yeah, if, uh, if He has got some nice control when it comes to taking the back. Don't be wrong, he's got some really, like, some really decent moves there. But every single time he, he is getting reversed, he needs to figure out what he's going to do to stay on that position. Because yeah. Callum's doing a really good job of getting him flat on his hip rather than actually allowing him to hip out and take the back. But, you know, both hooks in now. He can get further up on top. We look to take the choke. Here we are. Both hooks in now. Time to work. Not much time to work there, Rich. No, no, not, not as much as you'd like. Rounds. You know, Callum doing the exact same thing he did last time, shocking his man off, walking high on his hands, pivoting up tripoding, looking to reverse that position. Greg needs to take those hands away, take that bait away, kick, either kick his feet away or mm -hmm. flatten him out on his back like that. He's positioned okay. over to... I thought he'd gone for the armbar there, but I, I think he actually him, yeah. potentially just got reversed. Okay. And then Callum again, reversing him from the back. Now Callum really needs to do something pretty serious at this point to try and get this fight back onto his side because uh, 
the last two rounds haven't ended too well for him, so let's see what he no, can No, strong start, there. strong middle rounds, though. It's, it's, it's just really hard to score because there's been limited offence from both guys, yeah. apart from those flurries we've seen from Gregor. So, once again, 10 seconds with Gregor on top, inside control of, of guard. He's going to have to just posture up and fire. Yeah. But instead, we're going to you know, potentially finish the round locked down again. And we have, indeed. So, a good score. fight, a good fight. But, but again, we think we've both sort of identified some missed opportunities there for both fighters, Yeah, really. absolutely, yeah. Uh, but I'm sure they're both going to go back and watch this tape and they'll learn from it. And that's really, really important. Yeah, you know, good skills from both guys. Um, and, but like I said, probably missed opportunities so whoever, whoever doesn't walk away with the W on this one will be thinking I could have won that I think that's absolutely right but I mean both guys left it all in there they worked as hard as they possibly could and we really appreciate it so thanks very much to both fighters yeah well, ladies and gentlemen after three rounds of action we go to our judges scorecards with a unanimous decision your winner in the blue corner